Hello, I'm Arlo, and this is The Gamer's Brief. Microsoft announced last week that it will be ceasing all support and content development for Project Spark. The game is no longer available to download, and servers will shut down on August 12th. The company regretted that such a decision had to be made, but thanked the players for their support. In other news, apparently Project Spark released at some point. That's... news to me. Microsoft also announced that it would be releasing nearly a million gamer tags to Xbox Live members. The company didn't share an exact list, but stated that the names would come from the following categories. Proper names, pop culture references, types of food, geography and travel, science and technology, math and numbers, animals, and quote, some of the greatest inventions of all time. Meaning, of course, that long sought after names such as Bob Over 9000 Hamburger Iceland Microscope 31 Penguin Hamburger will finally be available. In a recent interview, Nintendo president Tatsumi Kimishima stated that the company's upcoming console, codenamed the NX, would not be an immediate successor to the 3DS or Wii U, but something different. He also claimed that it would provide, quote, a new way of playing games, which, coming from Nintendo, many are assuming to mean a console with current-gen graphics, one screen, and a normal controller. Blizzard Entertainment has reported that 9.7 million people played the open beta for their new multiplayer shooter, Overwatch. Co-founder and CEO Michael Morheim was quoted as saying, We're thrilled that such an incredible number of players from around the globe got a chance to check out Overwatch during the open beta. He went on to say, The response was overwhelming, and we hope that... But his sentence was cut off when $100 bills started pouring from his mouth, and dollar signs appeared in his eyes with a ka noise. Finally, Nintendo has announced the latest generation of Pokémon games, titled Pokémon Sun and Moon. The games will be released on November 18th in North America and November 23rd in Europe, and further details about the games are expected to come soon. It has also been reported that Hell has frozen over, likely brought on by the fact that the most popular starter is the grass one. I'm Arlo, and you've been watching The Gamer's Brief. Good night, and good game.